Nellis workshop. Fixing things. Apparently I'm not allowed to really use this place yet. Got some fancy computers and my ant nectar wore off. Great. I'm also dehydrated almost. And I need food. But I'm still food poisoned and throwing everything up. Great. Where's my water at? Drink. I actually drink four of those. And eat one deviled egg. Yeah, I'm gonna puke it all up though. Oh, just let it please stay vomit. Don't let it come out the other side. Nellis Boomer Museum. I like the mural. Now that's an interesting picture. Are they bombing tribals? Is that what it is? The tribals were having a friendly campfire when the plane dropped a million bombs on them and it turned them all into Swiss cheese dust. What is that? I think that looks like two planes dogfighting above a group of vacuum cleaners. Howitzer cannons. Corn. I think that's their cornfield there. A scrap pile, a bunch of boomers walking in from the wasteland, perhaps. It's a nice mural. Who are you? Hello. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Um, sure. Tell me your history. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mural on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Go for it. I already tried to decode your hieroglyphics, but I'm interested in what you have to say. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Do I have to imagine? Or is it true? This is where Junket is going to pop up and interfere. Just watch. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. That damn overseer. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Whatever it takes, I guess. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Nellis has I haven't killed you yet. Secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Really? And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. I don't want to say you guys are as evil Bye. as the Enclave, but... That is an interesting plan for your future. We want to kill people. Just now because we can rain death from people. above. You must have all sorts of questions. I do. Let's see. Um, I'm looking to make myself useful. Do you need any work done? Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. What, the useful kind? Um, who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well... Whiskey and landmines don't go together. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. There's a story there, too. So let's see. Um, what can we find out about your history? Why did your ancestors leave the safety of the vault? I'm surprised the Nellis was empty when you found it. I'm guessing it wasn't. 
How do you survive totally cut off from the world? What are howitzers doing? How has Nellis taught them to fly? Um, why did you guys leave the safety of the vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. I see. Um... Yeah, I love it when I throw a grenade and it goes bang. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like my explosive skill is high enough to really love blowing stuff up. So, um, your people were willing to risk it all for freedom. The freedom to blow more things up. And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? Lord. I don't know what I think about these guys, honestly. So I'm surprised Nellis was empty when your people found it. I thought that they might have been somewhat stable. But the more I learn about them, the more I realize I think they just want to watch the world burn. As long as they're the ones doing the booming and burning. So, was Nellis empty when you got here? Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the Waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. I see. Um, but little, a little radiation didn't keep your people away, or... Whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vault, huh? That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a Sav. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? I'm actually from the Brotherhood, but keep calling me a savage. So, how do you survive totally cut off from the world? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. How do you make your booms, though? You guys blow up so much stuff. How do they get the supplies for the boom booms? Um, but where did you get protein? Oh my god, you're all cannibals! Um, are they? I haven't seen any body piles or bone piles or skulls laying around, so I don't think they are. They could be. Well, um, the ingenuity of your people is quite remarkable. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? Just trying to brown nose up to them a little bit, soak up all this fame that we can. No point in making enemies here if we don't need to. So, what are the Howitzers doing at an Air Force base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis. And it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Really? So that Howitzer battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people. You really are a determined valiant bunch thank you so much i'll be sure to pass that on add it to your story anything else you want to know let's see as nellis taught you people to fly how has it we saw the virtual reality flying pods that they had so i'm gonna guess that's them once we restore power we learned that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators we believe they were used to train combat pilots we use them extensively I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese, Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Basically what that means is that it's not programmed into the game. There is no flight simulator. So, let's see. Um, oh, to slip the surly bonds of Earth and dance amid the soaring birds. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? Mm, just that I have flown for real and you haven't. I own a bird, -a -bird. Ha! Huh. Deal with that. So, how did you learn where to find an old bomber at? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base. With magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it, except we haven't left Nellis in decades. 300 years under the water? There's probably not going to be much left of that bomber. Um, 
You could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. You keep practicing, okay? I'm gonna go talk to Loyal. See ya. Good luck with your story. Um, hey, what's this? Nellis Air Force Base. A snow globe. Don't mind if I do take that. So, we need to return to Pearl. Apparently I've helped plenty of people. surviving out there in the wasteland. Here is some advice that may increase your chances. Number 22. An unfaithful penis. Matches. An unfaithful vagina. They do go hand in hand, almost. Um, let's see, is this the hangar? It's dark, I'm gonna have to travel by the lights they've placed up. At least they have power here. That's more than can be said for most communities. Jack, I haven't found your lover yet. Loyal? You're still hanging around Good here, work huh? Good with those solar arrays. Glad you appreciate it. I don't have any herb to sell you, Loyal. Bye. I was really hoping to talk to him about the bomber. But that might have to wait until after we go see Pearl, so... Let's go... Find Pearl. It's going to be easier said than done. Because I honestly don't remember where she is. And... Actually, wait, was she in... Okay, you know what? Night vision has to come on. There we go. I'm going to be bumping into all types of little stuff. Pearl's barracks right here. Thought we might have to search around for a bit. Hey, Pearl, you're not asleep yet, huh? You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. It was easier than I thought it would be. So, I think I've done everything I can to help out. Except to return to Raquel. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Okay, is that it, Pearl? You have done well. Mmm, I guess that's it. Don't get blown up. Don't blow me up. It's fairly simple. Oh, where... I want to find Raquel, dang it. Before I go do anything crazy away from this base. Um, we're gonna... Run around over here just a bit more. And then we will go see Loyal. I don't think finding Loyal will be that difficult. He doesn't seem to move out from the hangar there. Got some more little creepy demons. Isn't it late for you kids? Shouldn't you be in bed by now? No telling what they're scheming and plotting. Rex, can you use your nose and track down Raquel for me? Yeah, yeah, keep blowing stuff up. One of these days you'll run out of ammo. Hello. Couple boomers there. I may just have to find, put off hunting down Raquel until later, I guess. Wait, is that her? So many people in suits. I don't really trust being around these guys with their missile launchers. It just does not seem wise. Trigger happy freaks. Another regular boomer. Are you another regular guard? Yeah, just another boomer. Wait a second, is that a building I can enter? Standing around guarding the doorway for no reason. A super fortress. I guess that they really think that they're going to be able to get that plane up and use it. It's been submerged for 300 years. Come on, there's Raquel. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yeah, I squashed them. Pretty much just had to step on them. They didn't put up much of a fight. It's safe down there. Maybe Pearl is right about you, because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Just glad I could help. We're now idolized. 
Awesome. And that's one quest that they can, you know, finally mark off as being completed. I have a lot of unfinished quests, so it it is nice to actually complete a few and not leave them half finished. Now for finding Loyal again. Should be fairly simple. He probably sleeps in this hangar. Forget his bedroom. He just dreams of flying someday. And, if we're the hero that they think we are, maybe we can actually help them. We Hello, Loyal. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Pete already told me, but hey, what is it? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Kind of. Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Hmm. So, how do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of the lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. The plane is so old I could break it up if we the the ballasts aren't attached just perfect. The sheer tearing forces as they rise in, at different rates. Um, let's see. Um, if it's so simple then, Loyal, why haven't you guys done it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. I see. Well, I guess I'm game. I don't have anything better to do right now. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Hmm. Any ideas? Actually, I, I know how to get down there. I have a rebreather. Try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. I already got a rebreather, Loyal, but thanks. I think we found the rebreather the same time we found the night vision, if I'm not mistaken. So, now the question is finding where this Lake Mead is. Does it show up at all on my map? Nellis, hangars, the array, there's the safe house. I don't see anything on my map here that looks like it would be a lake geography wise well oh right there the crashed B-29 the fort vilified I'm guessing that's where Kaiser is hiding out so we'll be right under Kaiser's nose I imagine as we go try to raise this old bomber up. Um, actually, I think I'm going to take a break here. And whenever we come back, I don't know what we'll do. We might go down there and try to deal with the B-29, get it to raise up and complete it. I still need to find the Brotherhood hollow tags around here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. What's my quest to say? Still in the dark. Find the missing Brotherhood patrol at Nellis Air Force Base, yeah. I may stumble around the Air Force Base here just a little bit more. And see what we can what we can locate. The Brotherhood bodies have to be around here somewhere. Just a matter of finding them. Okay, so before we go and um try to deal with this bomber, I guess, because I decided that that is where we're going to go next. We're going to go try to raise it up and um, see what we can do with it. Before we do that, I have to find a way to cure this goddamn food poisoning. 
my calories. I'm extremely deficient right now in them. And I can't keep down any food. This is not a good thing. I'm continuing to be penalized. Biodiesel refinery. Where is the where was the doctor's office at? I think it was it was down here on one of these ones. I'm hoping that the doctor can offer me some treatment. There's the workshop. And to actually heal my food poisoning. If he can't, then I don't know what to do. Maybe I should sleep for a few hours. Try to rest it off. We'll go deal with the plane. Come sunrise or something. Hey, if I haven't said it before, Outsider, let me say it now. Welcome to Nellis. Word from Pearl is that you're to be greeted as a friend. I'm glad. I, I need medical treatment, though. Seeing as you're a friend of ours, I suppose we could trade for what you need. Um, I need help with addiction. I have wounds that need mending. I have a lot of stuff. Do you have anything for food poisoning? I can patch you up in exchange for doses of... All right, here's some fixer, then. You're going to feel a little pinch. I'm just going to take all of his treatment. He takes three of my fixers. That's fine. See? Um, what about addiction? I can unburden you of that. For a few doses of Radaway? For three doses. Yeah, I've got three Hold to spare, still. I think. This will burn <clears> for a moment. So I've been stockpiling plenty of supplies. And... Do I really have radiation sickness? I can help you in exchange. Here's three stim packs. This will make. I don't know if that actually was You've done right useful or not. So but I suppose I could. We recently started making our own stim packs, but we just don't have the materials to make other meds. Sorry about the lack of selection. It's still pretty amazing that you guys can make your own stim packs. So what do they got? Xander roots, frag grenade, medex. I can't believe how cheap that is. Twenty nine caps. I want to buy all of the me all of the uh, medex there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Pleasure Why not? doing business with you. Bye. You never know when a little bit of medex is going to come in handy. Oh, wait, you got more for me? Apparently, I'm getting a free dose here. Thanks, Doc. Yes, outsider. Addictions removed. Goodbye. Don't Somehow I don't think that healed my food poisoning. No, I didn't. Mm. Well... I don't guess there's much I can do... to actually fix that, is there? Okay, let's check my quests. See what else we have to do. If there's anything I can do around here before. Mm, let's see. Attach the ballast. That's next. Jack's lover. All we have is the ballast, so let's go deal with this plane. I'm not real enthusiastic about being forced to swim around in what is most likely going to be a nasty radiated river. But I don't really know what choice we have. So, the Brotherhood of Steel safe house. We'll travel there. Probably going to die. This uh, fast travel location might not be that safe. If I remember correctly, there were a lot of evil death geckos around here. Death gecks. Oh boy. Get your guns ready. There we go. Fix my field of view. I still can't enter this place, can I? No, it requires a key. I haven't been trusted enough by any of the factions to be given a safe house. And there are a few that we've spotted around at the wasteland in our journeys. So, I think we need to keep heading to the east and southeast here. Follow these roads. And that should get us close. What, what, what is it? Okay. Just a mole rat, thankfully. There were some pretty bad monsters. There's a couple of them, actually. <clears throat> There's a death claw. There's something named Rex. Rex, do you have any relation to this thing? And a stray Cazador. I don't know what my primary threat is here. What I do know is that these things are coming towards us quicker than I 
had hoped. Um, I'm kind of scared of Rex here. We're probably going to die, but let's open fire on him. Okay, that first shot was a good one. He's down. Whoa, shoot. Yeah. I was hoping Rex would run defense and stop him there, but man, he just said, forget that, I'm going straight for the person with the gun and rip my head off. Well, let, let's try that again, I guess. Just be sure to bury me, Veronica, if you live. They won.